In Pampero, players compete to build a renewable energy infrastructure across Uruguay, build wind farms to generate energy, and create electrical towers to gain powerful bonuses and unlock more of your power grid. Each player starts the game with an identical set of action cards, which include things like building wind farms or electrical towers, fulfilling contracts, or moving bulldozers. On a player's turn, they place an action card from their hand to their action board, placing it in the leftmost available slot on the top or bottom of the board. Each letter matches a zone on the game board. A are rural, B are industrial and resort, and C is the major metropolitan area in Uruguay, Montevideo. Players can select between A and B in the top row, or B and C in the bottom row. The zone selected affects the cost of the action, and the zone on the board where the action takes place. Ouch! After three turns, a consolidation phase allows players to collect only the rightmost card from either the top or bottom row of their action board. All other cards remain on the board and cannot be used again on the next turn. Be careful to plan your actions carefully, so cards you wish to play more often are on the end of the row and accessible during consolidation. Players will eventually need to spend an action to retrieve all their cards, but starting over again on the action board means actions will be more expensive. The Power Grid and Income, or PG&I board, is at the center of each player's company. As the game progresses, electrical towers are moved from the player's PG&I board to the main game board, unlocking greater potential. Contracts are moved from the game board to players' PG&I boards, generating income. At the end of the game, the player with the most money wins. There are a lot of quality components in Pampero, including over 100 deluxe silk-screened wood pieces, dual-layer board, and extra-thick 3mm cardboard.